So that's what we're doing, man. No, I don't need that. But anyway. So anyway, when I always when I go to the gas station, even before all this crazy stuff happened, or this COVID broke out, I always bring hand sanitizer. I've never liked touching. I'm real particular about touching like gas pumps <laughs> and shopping carts and shopping baskets. Ah, just kind of nasty. But um, with all the extra issues going on with the COVID and this, that, and the other, it's just made sense to be prudent and uh, take those extra precautions. Especially for people with any kind of like pre-existing conditions, in particular respiratory. As for me, um, I'm asthmatic, so I'm really like not living in no fear, not none of that crazy stuff. And I'm seeing and hearing that a lot. And fear don't have nothing to do, at least not for me. It's called common sense taking the precautionary measures that need to be taken during this time. Um, it's just too much going on not to. And not only that, I mean, the government, they the government. It's their right uh, only to initiate certain restrictions and protocols and put everything into place. And who am I to not take their guidance? I mean, they know mo more better. Uh, I'm pretty sure they know more, more so than me. Um, that's not to say I believe everything the government tells us. However, comma, um, what's so hard about, you know, keeping your distance from people? And I always have been one of those kind of guys that's like, when you're in a grocery store, you know you're up there putting your card in or swiping your phone to pay for your purchase. And you know you got people that are like sitting right on your shoulder. Ah, that's so annoying. But that happens so much here in Hawaii. It's like, back up a little bit, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be done shortly. <laughs> I don't really need you sitting right there. I mean, back, that, back, 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 back. To, then by all means, I appreciate if you want to buy my groceries, but yeah, practice the, uh, the social distancing. Um, wash your hands thoroughly. Uh, just today, I actually wiped my uh, doorknobs to the inside and outside of my house. Rub them down really good with uh, alcohol and disinfectant. I mean, why not? It's not hurting anything. And I'd rather err on the side of caution than to not. For the simple fact, again, um, from what we know so far, it's one of those respiratory type of viruses in which it attacks the respiratory system first. Now, I don't need nor want any parts of that. <laughs> but on another note, you know, if this has been some kind of a uh, dry run or a dry test to see whether or not how uh, we'll respond to a pandemic or a crisis in no, no short of other words, um, we're probably not doing the, the best that we can do with that. I mean, you got people out here hoarding supplies and things they don't even need. It's like, are you serious? <laughs> There's Rochelle. I was, damn it, I was supposed to talk to her about riding with them, but uh. <laughs> I will talk to her a little later. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Maybe that wasn't her. She had the same kind of bike, but she still has paper plates. So as I was saying, um, yeah, man, we gotta do a better job of looking out for one another and just being respectful, <laughs> you know? Especially if you like, don't need 50 rolls of toilet paper. There's no need to buy 50 rolls of toilet paper. Like, come on. Let's be sensible. Okay, by you buying 50 rolls, how many other people are gonna have to go without? 
you know, it's just little things. Looking out for your neighbors. Like, a lot of my neighbors are pretty old, Kapuna. You know, I'll just say, hey, you good? You need anything? Because if they need something, then I'm going to help, help them, uh, you know, in any way that I can. Whether that's just going to the store with them uh, in the mornings or whatever, because they've uh, actually came out and are allowing the Kapuna, the, the seniors, shop with our early and they're allowed to bring one person to help them out so you know little stuff like that put it out there um don't be greedy all right it's the, different times are upon us <laughs> so show a little bit of humanity a little bit of compassion and for those that are, you know are out of work or lost their jobs show a little empathy and just reach out to people and you want to you know social distancing is just that physically but that doesn't prevent you from, you know, giving somebody a call, FaceTiming, you know, things like that, you know, to make sure everybody's, you know, doing as good as can be in these times that we're all uh, going through together. No one's exempt from this. <laughs> I just saw that, uh, I think it's Rand Paul, is the first U.S. Senator to uh, be confirmed with COVID. I'm not sure if he's the first, but... This is yesterday, uh, as of Sunday, March 22nd. So, and there's gonna be more to come. So, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. People need to know that and try to plan accordingly. Uh, and, you know, stay home. <laughs> if you're allowed to stay home, or you've been told to stay home, or self-quarantine, do that. If you know you've been traveling recently, you got a little cold or something going about yeah don't go to work don't go spreading that to other people but then just have to take home to their families as well that's not cool and yeah just just be pono do the right thing a lot of this stuff that's going on right now comes down to people's character and their integrity to so just do the right thing do what's right it's not that hard <laughs> it can be done, so just do it. But um, yeah, I don't want to. I know everybody's probably tired of hearing about it, but it is what it is. Hawaii is going virtually into a state of lockdown. Uh, starting on the 26th of March, I believe. Uh, whereas though, anyone that's arriving via any means, unless you are exempt, will be self-quarantining for a minimum of 14 days. If you're a resident of Hawaii, your place of quarantine will be, of course, your residence. If you're a visitor, it'll be whatever lodging accommodations that you have arranged. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I don't think that's the best of vacations to come all the way to Hawaii and be subjected to being stuck in my room for the duration of my stay unless it's over 14 days but even still it's a pretty uh pretty expensive stay staycation as we would call it <laughs> that's something i would do when i just want to break from my normal day-to-day -day at home and go get a room down in waikiki or something of that nature so <laughs> excuse me and they put that in place in order to you know hopefully deter people from coming because you know what honestly now is just not the time. Um, the biggest industry here economically in Hawaii is the tourism industry. And a lot of those uh, industries, from the hotels to the restaurants to the tour companies, they're all taking serious blows. So yeah, just, just not the time to come. I mean, once everything gets situated and it's a better grip had on this entire situation, then yeah, come back. Plan your vacation for then. For then, should I say. So, other than that, uh, I guess my overall message for the day is to yeah, just be safe. Take care of one another. And everything will work out. So 
So I'm going to shoot down to a couple places. I'm going to shoot down to Waikiki, take a little disc ride through, not stopping. Um, and yeah, I'll throw the videos up just to see, you know, the difference in the traffic, if you will. But um, other than that, this is 808 Moto Lifestyles coming at you live and direct from the ever beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> That's it. Mahalo and aloha for watching. And I'll be back. into Waikiki. I see a lot of that too going on now. You got curbside, curbside pickups for your orders. So basically you order whatever you need to order and I guess upon your arrival they bring it out to your car. I just got a notice from Best Buy. That's their thing right now. You order it, they'll grab it for you and they'll bring it to your car. So Everyone's taking this serious. So should we. Hey. This here is Kawakawa. It's like the main strip down here in Waikiki. Where you got a lot of your higher end shops. <laughs> and the beach right over there. Chanel. Uh, temporary Gucci. Sunday. This is pretty much a ghost town. The amount of people that I'm seeing out right now. Which, like I said, is a good thing because that means they're heeding the uh, warnings and the recommendations that have been put up. So, you chose to be here in Hawaii on vacation at this time. Probably gonna suck a little bit, but what can you do? Yeah. I think Apple is completely closed. If I read that correctly earlier. Trolley buses are empty, <laughs> nothing but staff. And police substation over there. What they got the tape up for. I know they also uh, curbed a lot of the uh, lifeguard hours. So, yeah, this is. This is a good sign that people are like, okay. 
also. Yeah. It is definitely a ghost town down here. City parks are being closed officially, but you can still be on the beach and in the water. I know, crazy. It's the zoo, they've closed their lot. Uh, no parking, zoo's closed, period. <laughs> side of uh, Kawakawa, the other main drag in Waikiki. Uh, this is Kohio. You got your international marketplace. I got my gear on anyway. vacation I traveled all the way from wherever because you're going to do some traveling no matter where you come from uh, last thing I'm gonna eat is McDonald's sorry not sorry
caught up or fall into that water. It's nasty. People have actually fell in that, fallen in that water, contracted some kind of flesh-eating parasites that have died. So yeah. Stay out of the other water. But what's crazy is they have boat races and stuff in there all the time. Not so much right now, but yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Empty. And again, it's Sunday. It's a beautiful day to be out and about. But yep. So those that keep saying, "Ah, oh, doesn't it, it won't affect me?" Uh, I don't know what planet you on, but if it hasn't, it will. In one way or another. Famous Wailana Coffee House, which closed its doors, I want to say last year. Yeah, that's right. Get that bike ride in, mask and all, <laughs> or your skateboard on. <laughs> don't know, Hawaii has uh, I believe in not the biggest, one of the biggest outdoor slash indoor malls in the country. And it's actually, oh, they got it closed, can't even go in there. So that's out of Moana. There's normally hundreds of people all around. Can't even get into the beach park. As you can see, they got it blocked off. Um, yeah. <laughs> Empty. So that means if the, the mall's empty, that means y'all's are empty. That means people can't work. So again, the effects are real and real for a lot of people. So like I said before, <laughs> you can go to the you can go into the water, you can be on the beach, but you can't be in the park. So gotta keep that in mind, but you gotta also figure out, well, where am I going to park? I can't park at the park. <laughs> That's right, because the park is close. <laughs> People out exercising. That's good. So again, the other entrance to Alamo Wanda Beach Park is right here, and they got that blocked off. So can you do? Pay attention to the road. some of the graffiti walls. It's 
is in the Kakaako area. Gotta be careful with this loser gravel. I haven't seen that one. Nice. 